everybody I hope everybody's doing well well today I have a get ready with me video for you guys um, I wasn't gonna put on any makeup today uh, I'm not going anywhere today I'm not really doing anything special today but I needed a reason why to put on a full face of makeup because some of you know I am doing a project pan and every day counts from here on out to the end of the year and one of them is over October 31st that one's my 13 by Halloween and I am so determined right now because I think I'm sitting pretty good on some products and so I thought you know what today is a good day to do a get ready with me and put on makeup so anyways uh you are going to be seeing some new products that uh, I, they're new to me anyway. Uh, and one in particular that I am so, so excited about. And I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Um, but what you're not going to be seeing is the products that are in my project pan, which is the majority of the stuff I have on. <laughs> because I'm going to wait to show you that on my September update video at the end of September, which is very, very soon. So I don't know if this video is going to go up first or the update video I'm not sure so I wanted to play it safe and not show them to you in this video because oh I'm so excited I'm so excited on some of the products but the new stuff I the stuff that's not in my project pan you do see so anyways let's get to the get ready with me and you'll see me at the end okay so I'm going to start I already moisturized my skin with the uh, let me show you what I'm using the uh, Vici uh, laboratories. Uh, this is uh, a moisturizing cream for people who are perimeno and menopause and I did haul this. Okay, I'm going to put the Garnier Garnier 5 Second Blur Skin Renew Instant Smoother. I'm going to put that on. It really does um, blur out some of the fine lines. And I put some on my lids. I have a lot of crepiness. Okay, now I'm going to put on my primer. I'm not going to put it all over my face, but this is the Rock Brilliance. And now I'm going to put on my primer. Okay, now I'm going to use uh, this Pixi uh, Brightening Peach for underneath my eyes. Now I'm going to put uh, my NYX um, Shadow Base on. Okay, I'm going to set the shadow base with my Wet n Wild and Creme Brulee. And I'm using a Flowers Brush 103. No, E01. E01. This is from the Flowers Collection from Drew Barrymore. And I'm just setting that base. Okay, and for foundation, I'm going to be using my um, Tint Idol in number 340, Bisque, this one here. And I'm going to be mixing it with the NARS Illuminator, so I'm going to put some in the back of my hand. And then with this little pick I have here, I'm going to mix it. <laughs> set the t-zone with that and I'm taking my beauty blender my wet and wild setting spray and I'm gonna spray the sponge and then I'm going to take a little bit of my uh, mineral veil bare minerals mineral veil and I'm going to put the put a little bit on and I'm just going to do the t-zone with it Okay, and 
for my shadows, I'm going to take uh, this Wet n Wild uh, Camara Obscura and I'm going to take this peach color here with my MAC uh, 224. And then I'm going to take my Victoria Jackson and I'm going to use the darkest color in that shade with my MAC 217 and put it right in the crease. And then I'm just coming up a little bit at the end. Because I have uh, hooded eyes. I'm going to go back with the 217, uh, that light peach color, and just sort of blend out the edges. Okay, I'm going to go into my Almay uh, Trio for Blues. I'm going to take a copper color that's in there with a Rite Aid shader brush. And I'm just going to go all over the lid with this color. That same palette, I'm going to take the brown color and with this, I don't know, Coastal Scents brush. Oh, it's a uh, 246 little blending brush. I'm going to take that and put it in the outer corner. Okay, and I'm not going to put any more product on my uh, 217, and this is the uh, uh, Victoria Jackson um, color, the deeper burnt orange kind of a color. And I'm just going to go on the outer part and then a little bit just to darken that color back up. Okay, now I'm going to go into my new Tude palette, and I'm going to go into Seductive which is a shimmery light brown color with a, I think this is either, oh, an e.l.f. an e.l.f. Uh, blending eye brush, a blending brush. And I'm just going to kind of hit it the middle of the lid with that. Okay, and for my brow color, I was going to just leave it kind of with no shimmer because I feel like the eye look has a lot of shimmer, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go back into the Almay uh, Trio for Blue shadow, and I'm going to go into the highlight color, and I'm just going to use that. It has shimmer to it, but I don't know. just going to go for it. It's not a strong shimmer, I don't think. Okay, for the brows, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, eyebrow kit. Just kind of brush my brows a little bit. I put um, the gel uh, to set my eyebrows off camera and the eyeliner from Avon that's in my project pen that has been an, a complete nightmare of, a, of, a, of an eyeliner. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to curl my lashes with my new Shiseido lash curler, which I still, if you've seen my haul on it, I said I didn't know how I felt about it. I still don't, to be honest. Um, I don't know, I just don't know if this is any better than any other eyelash curler, but 
it does curl my lashes. Okay, I'm going to put my uh, Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Lash Primer, which is, I, I do love it. You know, it's, you could, it does curl. It does curl, but I just don't know if it does it any better than my Sally Hansen one. Okay. But, yes, it does curl. I love this brush. It has very small uh, teeth or combs, and then it has the big comb, and then it has a flat surface. Let's see right there where you could sort of smear the product on if you wanted to brush it with the little brushes and then kind of comb it out with the big big uh, brushes I really like this product okay there it is alright I'm going to let that sort of dry in the meantime we're going to use the Bahama Mama uh, to uh, contour with and I'm using an elf brush which is nasty today I really got to wash my brushes and I looked what I've been doing to contour is I've been really looking straight ahead and then I could really see where my bone structure is right here and that's where I've been placing it and I don't come up uh, I used to come up a little too much now I'm just sort of staying back in this area so I look straight ahead and then I just sort of deepen that right there let's see right there okay we'll blend that out in a little bit let's go ahead and um, put our mascara this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex uh, mascara I've been using this now for about a week um, gosh this packaging is very very heavy I mean it's got some substance to it um, the wand is an hourglass wand this was recommended to me by the girl there at Sephora because I told her my lashes, you know, would droop. Um, I like it. It really lengthens your lashes, by the way. So there's one coat, and you can see how this this uh, side of my lashes they're much shorter. They're they're not as lengthy. A long time ago, years ago, about I would say maybe around 2010, 2011, um, I used this one mascara from Revlon, and it they demolished my lashes. And it's the one in the green tube, and they just never did come back all the way. So I'm hoping the Biotin would really help this side I, I do think it's helping but anyway that's one coat I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat okay that was two coats uh, I just I went back with this side and I went back with this side but I didn't I didn't stick the uh, wand back into the tube I just sort of separated the lashes a little bit okay so now we're going to set uh, my or we're going to conceal my under eye this is new to me this is the Almay um, concealer this is a smart shade and this is in medium and I do like this I like the tube I just recently hauled it and it's a it's got a gray color and consistency I do like it because it dries really really quickly and I feel that you don't have to set this see the the color and this is the medium shade but I do feel like it doesn't give as much coverage as the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur. But right now it's already set in. <laughs> it doesn't give you a lot of time uh, to, you know, work the product. You can't really move it anymore. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm going to take my Bare Skin from Bare Minerals and I'm going to use this. This is a concealer that I don't particularly care for for underneath, directly underneath my eyes, but I do like it for a, a highlighting effect. I do like that for brightening effect. And I'm going to take my uh, Beauty Blender. It's a little dried, so I'm going to go ahead and spray it again with the Wet n Wild uh, setting spray, just a little bit. That's what I use this for. I don't put this on my face. And um, 
and I'm going to blend. I really try not to go, you know, all the way up in here because this this one here, this will crease into every fine line that I have. Okay. Okay, now we are going to bronze a little bit. I'm using the NYC Smooth Skin in Sunny. And I'm just going to blend that out, the contour, a little bit. I'm using a Soho brush that I got, I think, at Walmart a long time ago. <laughs> Okay, that Soho brush is starting to lose some bristles, so it might be ready to retire that one. <laughs> I've had it for a long time now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the blush now. I'm using Tarte and Exposed, and I'm using um, a uh, Real Techniques uh, blush brush. It's kind of big, but it, it works for this particular blush. <laughs> Okay, and that is a pretty matte uh, blush. So what I've been doing uh, to try to use up my products on my project pan is I'm going to put my e.l.f. Mellow Mauve and I'm going to put a little bit of that on top. I would love to show you this right now, but I cannot wait for my update. This is just, let's just say it's getting very difficult for me to pull product from the pan. But I'm just going to lightly put that on top because this one has a little bit of a shimmer not a lot it just has a little bit and so I just you know put a little bit on top of that uh, I don't know if you could see that Woo! okay what is next let's put some highlight I'm going to use um, my what's up from benefit I'm not going to pull it all the way out of the tube so you don't see. So I'm barely going to pull it out so you don't see where it's at. I don't put this down the center of my nose anymore because with, the, with this particular foundation it will um, make it move. So I really don't like to put it anywhere else but really here. But a little bit there okay we're going to blend that I'm using a real techniques uh, I think this is a shader brush no this is a setting brush okay then what I've been doing I've been actually using uh, I what is this one called this is wet and wild icon and I think it's reserve my reserve your cabana reserve something something cabana hold on <laughs> Reserve Your Cabana is what it's called. The top fell off. But um, I, this is not in my project pan. Um, but what I've been doing, because this is such a safe highlight, i actually been using to set that. Since it is a, the other one is a cream, um, I've been using that to set. And then also, because I don't go down the, the bridge of my nose, I use this for that. All right, now for my lips. Okay, I'm going to use Pouty Pink from Models Prefer, not only to line my lips, oops, but to shade in the lips. Okay, and the reason why I do that with that one is because the lipstick I'm going to use is NARS Rakugan. Rakugan, yeah. Um, it's very, very creamy, and I noticed that it really, when I put this on, because this is very, very matte, it really helps the lipstick last longer. So I'm going to put this on. Okay, now let's finish up the eyes. I'm going to go back into my nude tooth palette, and I'm going to take Silly from that palette. And I'm going to use this as a liner. I 
but I did put the models prefer a uh, liner that's in my project pan and I did tight line the waterline now I'm going to take my L'Oreal telescopic shocking extensions it's a very tiny tiny wand you know I'm just gonna do the bottom lashes with that Okay, now uh, what I want to do is I want to, I've been using this NYX uh, No Filter uh, Finishing Powder. I've been using this, okay, and oh, I, I think I'm loving it. <laughs> I do. So I'm going to take my Real Techniques Powder Brush. If you guys have been with me for a while, you guys know how I feel about the scarring and what powders do, you know, even when I put blush and things like that, it it shows them. But I've been using this maybe three, four times already. And I don't, let's try it. Let's see. Let's do it again here because let's see what happens. Okay. I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but do I dare say that it's evening out some of my texture in my skin? The first time I used it, I was like, yeah, no, you know, that's, I'm not putting any more product. I'm just buffing. Now you could still see the scarring, you know, especially right here. This one right here, that one is like long and deep. But all the littler ones, the smaller ones, the smaller, uh, the smaller, especially this side. This side, this side doesn't have as much, but the smaller pitted scarring, it's, it's, it minimizes them. Like Okay, guys, I'm going to go do this hair and I'll be right back. Okay, so that was my get ready with me. Um, I ended up putting on a lip gloss that's in my project pan. This is Buxom in uh, Dolly. Yeah, in Dolly. Yeah, uh, so I put that on. Okay, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about this really, really quick. What, what can I say? I love it. I absolutely love this product. Um, I feel that it it really evens out some of my uneven texture due to my scarring um, and I feel like it minimizes some of my pores that I have right here I, I, I don't know I just I really really enjoy it and for it to be a powder for me they powders ex accentuate or you know make my scarring noticeable but this one really really um evens out some of them not all of them just some of them uh this one is in um medium olive and i just i think it's just a wonderful wonderful shade it's it's like a tan shade yeah it's like a tan and let's see right here I don't know if the lights are gonna wash it out but um, it's it yeah it's very smooth very very smooth but I'm very impressed I'm very and and the uh, lashes what can we say about these lashes that mascara is crazy <laughs> look at that one this one is my shorter lashes uh, I like I said with that Revlon mascara it sort of messed it up but I do see them making a comeback it's taken quite a bit of years but I do see that making a comeback but look at that that's crazy um, I think there's a L'Oreal mascara I believe that I seen and I can't remember the youtuber who used it but they said it had weight to it it was also an hourglass shape and it kind, she kind of described it in that same way. I'm curious to pick that one up because I'm sure it's a lot cheaper than this one. Gosh, how much? I don't remember how much I paid, but 32 maybe? I don't know. But if the L'Oreal performs like this one, then I'd much rather get the L'Oreal than this, you know? 
All right, my friends, that is it. That is my get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye.